Good stories. I was willing to get arrested because I wanted to try and protect our homes and our residents and the neighbors around here. Somebody had to stand up. The public didn't want low barrier shelters in their neighborhoods for damn good reason. You're allowed to bring in stolen stuff. You're allowed to do drugs. You're allowed to sell drugs. You're allowed to basically have a lawless place to live. I might only be four foot five, but I don't back down. I stand my ground. Local people were there to protest, and then we took over when they were given the injunction to leave. So we set up a picket line there, a protest line, and three of us got involved and we stayed there days and days until, until we got pulled out by the RCMP. I was willing to uh, get arrested and stand up for what I believe because you have to, at some points, that's what it takes to, like, you can't back down from people. Um, it's like the schoolyard bully taking your lunch. Uh, I didn't let them have it then and I'm not going to let them bully me now. I was protesting a drug facility moving in right next to me. Uh, with a daycare right there on the corner, you know, and another senior building right beside that. It was a long day, well, the day we got arrested. <laughs> and then what was there, six cop cars there? And they kept threatening us and we just kept sitting in our spot and we're not leaving. And they put me in the back seat of this car with no open windows and it was hot, a real hot day. And I kept telling the cop, I'm going to pass out, I can't breathe. So finally he opened the window down about this far. Per that court order, you move to a space that is 50 meters away from this entryway or across the street. No, he's going to have to run over top of us. Well, that is not going to happen today. We're not moving. Okay. Then at this point, all three of you are under arrest for breaching your court order. Okay. We're going to ask that you come with us. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to put handcuffs on you, but cooperative. Let's just see I, I would like Global TV here to see this. Okay, well, right now you're under arrest. Just a minute. Dave Anderson. Uh, I don't care if I fall or not. No, I don't. I don't care about me. Hey Mike, thanks man, appreciate what you did. They took us right down to the jail, into the lockup, locked the doors, fingerprinted us. We were charged. They dropped the charges, but uh, we were charged. I was charged on my, on my 71st birthday. Um, I figured they could have handled the situation differently. They didn't have to take us and put us um, in holding cells. Uh, they could have come and talked to us instead. I'll tell you a story about myself. When I was 21, 
I was sentenced to two years less a day in prison for one joint in my ashtray. One joint. Nowadays, they're out shooting up all over the place and the cops know it. They can see it and they do nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. The seniors that were arrested lived directly next door. And when I talked to them, the reason they were willing to get arrested wasn't necessarily because they completely felt like they were doing the right thing, but it was the only thing they could do. They're seniors, they were 70 plus years old. They can, they, they can no longer fight harder or yell louder than everybody else. The only thing they could do was put their freedom on the line for us. I wasn't too happy at all. I wasn't feeling like the government was working for me. Our government doesn't care about us.